How are you guys doing today? This is Kevin here from fearlessprogression.com and I want to explore a common question today that a lot of people, especially people who are pursuing relationships and even friendships and just social connections often ask themselves and that is how do you be yourself? What does be yourself really mean? Uh, it's, it's common cliche for people to just be like, you know what? Just be yourself, man. You know, if you're trying to get a girl to like you, if you're trying to get someone else to like you, just go up and just be yourself. It's so simple. But, you know, I'm sure uh, hearing this advice is very frustrating for you, as it, as is a lot of people. And you want to hear what it really means to be yourself, because it's not so simple. You know, you can act, you find that you can act normally and nonchalant and feel very comfortable with yourself around certain groups of people, but not around other groups of people. So today I wanted to ask you guys three questions to get you started on knowing really how to project your true self onto other people and help them understand who you are as a person and convey that in a very effective way. So the first question you want to ask yourself when you're trying to figure out how to be yourself is what are your values? You know, what's really important to you? Um, you know, your values really are something that stem from the way you were raised um, and, and the knowledge and experience that your parents passed on to you or your guardians. And they really shape kind of how, how you believe um, life is, you know, your different perspectives on life, uh, the different directions you end up going with your life, and what you really put importance on and dedicate your time to. And when you're getting into a relationship or you're, you're getting into a friendship, it's important to actually seek out people who have similar values to you because that way you're going to be more in sync. Um, and that, that's really the key to connecting with someone. It's really being able to understand them on that emotional and spiritual level. And if people can understand you on that level, then that, that can really be a key in helping them connect with you and you connect with them. And that's really who you really are. That's what be yourself means. And another key thing about values is that you want to ask yourself, what's your larger purpose in life? You know, what, what is something that you're really passionate about and you feel like you have a strong drive towards? You know, for me, you know, being a, a former sufferer of, well, I still suffer a bit with mental illness and I've obviously suffered with self-esteem issues in the past. So those particular things are what drive me to do what I do on YouTube and to really help other people. So, you know, think about what you can do using your values to help other people. You know, what's your purpose? What drives you every day? What, what's important to you? And that really connects to your values and you want to have this purpose because when you're meeting a girl, um, you know, th this applies to other set, the, this applies, this video applies to girls as well. If you're meeting a guy, um, you want to have some sort of main purpose or ambition in life because that's really attractive and that's a way to actually use your values and make yourself seem like, you know, you're making a difference and you're really putting forth your best effort in the world. And that's a very attractive quality uh, for both sexes to have. Um, so number one, what are your values? Number two, what are your hobbies and interests? And I don't mean things you do because other people want you to do them you know not not when some, one of your friends recommends okay let's go see a movie let's go see this uh action movie but maybe you hate action movies and this isn't a movie you even want to see in the first place so you want to ask yourself what do you genuinely enjoy doing you know what's things that you um in your spare time you naturally just want to do you know maybe it's playing baseball maybe it's playing uh, basketball maybe it's dancing um, you know, these are the things that actually take up a lot of your time and make you seem like a person who enjoys themselves, you know, carries themselves in a very fun and positive way. And those are also very attractive qualities uh, for both friends and potential uh, relationship partners. You know, you want to be somebody who offers value to other people. And when people look at you, they can see themselves feeling more positive about them, their life, uh, enjoying their life more. And, you know, those are just great things you want to project uh, as a person. So these are two big things, your values and your hobbies and interests that really shape who you really are and put together your full image um, 
and what you're trying to put out there. There's a reason when you're filling out a dating profile on an online dating site that they ask, like, you know, what do you, what's important to you? Like, what do you value? What do you look for in another girl? And also, you know, what are your hobbies? You know, what do you enjoy doing for fun? What would you do on a, your ideal date? Um, things like that. So those are two key questions. And the third question that really ties this all together is how are your how are your social skills? You know, are you able to take your values and your hobbies and interests and convey them to other people in an effective way? So how well can you convey your values to other people? You know, do people understand what you're putting out, out into the world and what you're putting forth and what you have to offer? Because if you don't have your social skills down pat, you might be an awesome person. You might actually really have a lot to offer the world, and, but people just don't understand that and they don't perceive you as that. Um, so you want to be able to effectively express excitement uh, and genuine passion when you talk about your hobbies and interests. If you're on a date, you want to make yourself seem like, like, wow, like, I have so much I'm excited about in life. And the person is not actually required to um, join you, but they could join you if they wanted to. So the point is, make your life seem and your life should be awesome without the person that you're trying to pursue. Because when you make a certain person the objective of your life, that really is not the best way to deem yourself or seem attractive in other people's eyes. You want to have a full-scale um, life that and things that make up who you are, hobbies and values. And can you really be proud and confident in these things? You know, it's one thing to talk about them. Maybe you, you're able to get out all your information about your hobbies and interests and really talk about your values. But does your body language match that? You know, are you able to seem excited and very confident in, in these things and how they represent you? You know, this is who you are. You know, you should be excited. This is awesome. You're a human being. Being a human being, as Gary, Vayner, Gary Vaynerchuk says, um, uh, CEO, business owner Gary Vaynerchuk, he always says, you know what? Being a human being is like the best gift ever because there's so many other things we could have been. We could have been an ant. We could have been a tree, um, but God, or wh wh however your beliefs are, you were created as a human being, and you have so much potential and capability as a human being, so be proud of that, and be proud of who you are and all your hobbies and values. And the last thing here is, are you comfortable disagreeing with other people? Because oftentimes we're scared of rejection, we often like to go along with other people due to peer pressure, or, you know, just poor negotiating skills, but are you able to take what your opinions are and really express them? Are you able to get them out there? Um, when people want to do a certain thing, maybe you don't want to go out and go see that movie, or you don't want to go out and go to eat at the restaurant, but are you okay to express that? Are you okay to express what kind of restaurants you do like eating at, or what kind of movies you do like seeing? So it's important to not be scared to actually project these things, and if you want more information, of course, on how to, you know, get over this social anxiety, get over, you know, poor social skills, things like that. I have other videos on my channel that you can check out um, on, you know, getting over fear of rejection, you know, increasing your self-esteem, things like that. Uh, so definitely check those out. But these, again, remember these three points here, guys, when you're trying to figure out how to be yourself. What are your values? What are your hobbies or interests? And how are your social skills? How are you conveying these two things? So guys, that's it for today. Uh, if you could, guys can please do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy these tips, um, this information, definitely give me a thumbs up right now. Thank you very much. So guys, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care.